back to my channel. So this video is going to be different. As you can tell, I'm going to be vlogging my trip to Florida. I'm going to upload a video for each day that I was there. And I just wanted to tell you a little story. Okay, so originally, if you had watched my haul video, you knew that I was going to go driving to Florida. It was going to be a road trip with the family. But I decided to take a flight over there instead because I had school and I couldn't miss school. So I had to book a last minute flight. So I lost about a day of Florida. But then my flight got canceled and I was so upset and I got stuck in the airport overnight. We were I was supposed to be there for seven days but I ended up being there for only five days. Which was really sad but... There was nothing that I can do. It was just out of my control. And so I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, I, d I wasn't really talking in all of the videos. I was just kind of filming what's going on. I tried to talk, but I don't know. And they're going to meet my family, my parents, my sister, my son, and his dad. I had a lot of fun vlogging. I hope you guys enjoy how the video is going to be put together. And please keep on watching. So you can see my trip to Florida. power saving book but it is one in the morning my flight got cancelled and then I had a book a flight the next available flight my flight was supposed to be at 6 in the afternoon 
And the next available flight is until 6, um, 50 in the morning. And then, not only that, but it's a freaking connection, connecting flight. So I'm actually not even going to get to Florida until 3 in the afternoon. This is insane. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be optimistic though because I was really upset. Just I was kind of like in shock. I couldn't believe I didn't really believe that it actually happens, but it did. And um, so now I'm just trying to get over it. I'm trying to sleep and just not even think about it. Just go with the flow. I don't know so weird. I'm trying to not be upset. I'm not upset and I'm also like not even excited for Florida. It's kind of weird. I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I just know I'm freaking tired. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you guys. Hopefully next time I'll see you, I'll be in the airplane. Remember Frank Sinatra? Dragons in the night. Let's change your glasses. Is that my wife or that? Who is this guy? He's <laughs> calling me. He's a paparazzi. He needs to go home. That's my daughter. I have a big family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure. Behind those palm trees, Pidri House. No, no, no. It's just behind the palm trees. You, actually, you cannot see the house. <laughs> He's a peanut butter jelly. See the Dr. Frost. I think it's a nice house. One well, man on the tree. He's right there. With he only lives right there with his wife, Patricia wife. Frost. He lives he eight like years old. His wife, Patricia, is 76 years old. They don't have Look, any kids, no there. pets, no cats, no dogs, and they are not adopted. Not in the house. <laughs> not right there, right there, there, in the white. Oh, right? Oh, my God. 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 Su dermatólogo, el Dr. Foss, es el expresidente de la compañía de fármacos IVAX, la compañía que produce drogas genéricas. Construyó su mansión en tres años a un costo de 60 millones de dólares. Todos los árboles que bordean la parte de atrás de su mansión fueron traídos desde Sudáfrica a un costo de 10 mil dólares cada uno.